From the outside, the old museum will not appeal to a first-time visitor despite these inscriptions, but the large and close 14-room edifice houses most of the country's historic artifacts. 89-year-old Right Reverend Yedu Banaman has for the past 20 years preserved this museum despite financial challenges. He took the news team through some historic lessons. Two base blocks. They are called Chiniyini. That's Fontom from. Fontom from Chiniyini. Okay. And then you come to Etumpai. Different toning. And then you come to another two. This is called Anserwa. With the smallest voice. And this is called Injijihu. The well-structured historic edifice has been grouped into departments such as the farmer's world, which contains some ancient health and cooking utensils by our ancestors. Ghana's Hall of Fame has pictures of Gold Coast celebrities, politicians and some past colonial governors. Chieftaincy institutions, which contain some drums, stools and statues. The horror of the slave trade. The slave trade started with waging of civil wars in this country. Mm. The white slave dealers came in and distributed guns, gunpowder, pellets free of charge to the local chiefs, mm. just inciting them to fight among themselves in order to capture captives and bring them out for sale. The very first slave dealer was called John Hawkins, mm. an Englishman. The historic missionaries, wood carving exhibit, and the chief's court. Dried Reverend Yedu Banaman intimated the importance of history in nation building. If you know where you are coming from, it helps you to know the direction which you should go. That is the significance of history. But you come to Ghana, I remember visiting the museum and many of the artifacts, many of the archival items have been stolen. Very pathetic. And since I come from a tool house and my background is history, since 1700 I have a book written giving the history of this, our monarchy to the present time, I thought of preserving this history for the benefit of posterity. The 89-year-old revealed the museum serves as a center for learning for most educational institutions, thus the need to give it financial support. Nana Kweku Edia, TV3 News.